Hello everyone, welcome to Mean Life Studies. In this video, we are going to solve one more SQL problem as part of Data Analyst or Data Engineer interview preparation. You can see here that is question number 27. Actually, this is not a question and we need to guess the problem and write a SQL query to solve this problem. Okay, and it is given input table as players and also given expected output, right? And we need to convert uh, this format of input table into this format of expected output, right? And if you see here, here it is given a player's information like name, name of the player, role of the player and performance of the player. And in expected output, it is given batsman, bowler and rank. Okay. Now, before uh, guessing this problem, we need to uh, understand what is the format of this expected output. If you see here, in batsman column, we have Virat, bowler, Shami, rank as one. Right. Now, if you see here, in player's information, a name, role and performance. A player name and whose role is bad, then the player comes under batsman. And the player whose role is ball, then that particular uh, player comes under bowler. Right. And how these ranks are given? We need to check that. Now, Virat Shami as first rank. How it is assigned Virat? If you see Virat here, 89. He's, if a player's role is bad, then this considered as 89 runs. Right. Then, Show me, show me if uh, the player role is ball, then this considered as wickets, right? See, uh, Virat scored 89 runs, show me, bowled, and he did, he take, he took 5 runs, 5 wickets, right? Now, the combination of this one and this one has given, and what is this or, this is the 89, 47, whoever the batsman, we are comparing those things. 89 is the highest, and if you see bowlers, 5, 3, Two, one, right? Five is the highest ball, highest to two, highest wickets, right? So this is the combination of highest uh, runs and highest wicket taker, right? Now if you see uh, second row, Shreyas and Akshar. Who is Shreyas here? Shreyas is the fifty-four. It is the second highest, right? And Akshar, Akshar is the third. I mean the second highest wicket taker, right? This is the combination of second one, right? Likewise, we need to extract like this output okay i hope you understand now we will start solving this problem in ssms okay if you see here it is given a player's information table having name role and performance are three columns and this is the data inserted into player's information table and these statements i have mentioned in the description box now if i execute this query you can see here this is the data have given uh, having name, do, role and performance are three columns. Now we need to uh, return uh, in the format of expected output, right? That is batsman, bowler and their ranks. Now if you see here, this is the question. Return players as batsman, bowler, combination as per their top performance as top strengths. Okay. Now if you see uh, a player role is bad, then we consider uh, that, bat, uh, that player as batsman. If a role is bowled, then we consider that player as bowler, right? And we need to assign ranks as per the performances. If a bowler, then uh, it should be a highest number of wickets. Uh, if uh, he's a batsman, then it's a highest number of runs scored. Okay. Now we need to assign ranks to each batsman and each bowler on the basis of their role, right? Now we need to use here ranks. I'm going to assign ranks so that we can decide or we can ensure that this player is scoring highest. And we are going to uh, assign ranks to those particular players, right? Select. I'm going to return all columns and assign ranks over on the basis of their performances. Either it's a batsman or bowler. Okay. Now, before that, we need to use, we, on the basis of their role, we are going to use partition by, right? Partition by role and then order by performance to cylinder. Okay. RNK from players info table. Okay. Now, if I execute this query, you can see here we assigned a rank on the basis of the performance. If a bowler, I mean, uh, he took a highest number of wickets, then we uh, assign that as first ranker. The second one as second ranker. Likewise, we assign. You can see here, here also a batsman who scored highest number of runs, we assign that as first ranker. Likewise, you can see all values. Okay. Now we need to retain a batsman and bowler and their respective ranks. Right. And this is the combination we need to return. Okay. How we are going to write? We need to uh, split this table into two tables. First as batsman table and second as bowler table. Okay. 
I'm going to assign this as city. Okay. From this city, we are going to, I mean, we are going to uh, splitting the table into two tables as batsman city as mm -hmm. node city. We are going to uh, name it as batsman as how we are going to return. We are going to return select name as batsman comma and then rank okay from city where role equal to what is that bat right okay next one we are going to return bowlers this will return as batsmen okay this as bowlers and select name as bowler comma rank a from city where role equal to ball right okay now if you see here select star from batsman select star from bowlers okay if you execute this query you can see here we have batsman's details and their ranks if you execute entire query you can see uh okay we will uh, find only one one okay now if you see here bowlers details right now we are going to join these two tables on the basis of their ranks right now select i'm going to assign this as first table as a and the second table as b okay that is batsman as a bowlers as b a dot batsman comma b dot bowler and then we need to assign the ranks and in both tables same ranks only right from batsman a join bowlers b this as batsman's bowlers b on on the basis of their ranks right a dot rnk equal to b dot rnk okay now if i execute this query you can see here we have batsman bowler and their ranks that is virat shami as one Freyas, akshar as two gil chatul as three rahit guvi as four and i hope this is the exact output that we are expecting right i hope you understand we are going to splitting uh, our table into two tables and then we are going to use join function okay i hope you understand uh, this problem and write down your way of solving uh, this problem we have a different ways of solving this problem different techniques that we can solve this problem okay i hope you understand and thanks for watching don't forget to like and share thank you